What's up, people? Today, I will be reviewing The Nun on Blu-ray and 4K, and I got that coming up for you next. So The Nun just came out on Blu-ray and 4K, and um, I'm just going to be getting into the movie real damn quick, and uh, I was pretty mixed about this movie. I wanted to do it for you guys just because, you know, I've been doing Carpenter lately, and I'm going to be actually getting into Evil Dead 2, and this kind of felt like a good, uh, you know, in-between placer for that. And uh, this movie was just okay in my mind. Look, this movie is actually shot expertly well. And it, it just creates a mood and a vibe that I actually really do dig. And uh, that is all really, really crucial to get me into liking a horror movie. I really get in on the vibe of a horror film and i pay attention less to actually like uh you know a, a lot of uh more picky plot details as long as you can get me into a vibe then i will generally go along and just appreciate your film and uh, that is what this movie did for the most part but it has a lot of inconsistencies, and this movie wildly feels like it was rewritten, especially the ending. It definitely, you know, you have to follow your rules that you set up. And as this movie gets to the end, it absolutely doesn't. And that is unfortunate. But besides that, I did really just vibe on the mood here. And uh, for that, I am going to give this a... 5 out of 10? Look, this is not a good movie, but if you can just appreciate good cinematography and a good mood with a pretty damn good score, then you might get some enjoyment here. And getting into the video quality, starting with the Blu-ray, uh, this movie actually looks pretty damn good on Blu-ray. Um, I will say that it is crystal clear with very vibrant colors and a whole lot of detail the overall look and the color palette of this movie feels very old school very filmy to me and uh, i definitely I, I get a lot of that from this blu-ray and uh, the the detail here is also excellent especially when you get into the house and you start dealing with all of the uh, all of the creatures that are in the house and specifically the nun and just everything that has to do with that house there is a whole lot of detail and character that is brought to it and let's face it that is what this movie wants to focus on and it does my only complaint about the blu-ray is the black levels not all of the black levels dipped completely to black hair there were some that kind of had a grayish hue to them and um you know that normally has to do with black levels that are kind of a problem and for that i do have to give this an 8 out of 10 but this is still a damn good looking blu-ray and getting into the 4K Blu-ray, uh, this is where it's at when you are talking about visuals for this film because it just really, it stands out and it's a lot more prominent here. So this movie actually has a 2K digital intermediate, so this is an upscale to 4K, but you would never know it just because of just the, uh, the, the level of clarity here is just really amped up from that blu-ray you can see every pore on every face and especially uh, our lead character's face here you can see just everything all the horror on their face you can see it and all of the details that go into this house just looks expertly expertly well done here with upgraded dimensions so the foreground definitely sticks out from the background a lot more in 4k and along with that you get hdr here which helps out immensely with black levels just because um they are just really inky and filmy and just you know this gave me such an old school kind of 
horror vibe. And it just took me to a place that uh, I, I don't get with a lot of modern day horror films. And I, I just really appreciated that the most out of everything here. And beyond that, a lot of the uh, exterior shots, specifically in the daytime with the green grass and just all of just the nature that is in this movie is just very filmy and very rich with color and it just pops off of the screen and uh for that i'm gonna give this a nine out of ten this is a damn good 4k presentation and getting into the audio i know that the box art actually says that this is a dts hd 5.1 mix but it's not um, they do give you that DTS HD 5.1, but you do have the option of Dolby Atmos on the 4K disc and on the Blu-ray. That is something that is really awesome. They gave it to us in The Conjuring 2 uh, also, but it is, again, here. And um, just remember to actually go into the settings and... Uh, switch it over to Dolby Atmos because Warner Brothers likes to screw us up and put it on the DTS HD. And you know they like to do that, but hey, what are you going to do? And make sure you do do that because the audio here is just awesome. And I mean, great. I love horror in Dolby Atmos. I feel like I don't get it enough, but it is just really great here. You know, you have a lot of the spookier elements up in your surrounds. It creates just a, a really horrifying feeling. And this is a very wide and very expansive sounding mix. Um, bass response here is excellent. And the score of the film is actually really well represented here through the surrounds and uh, through your subwoofer. Speaker separation is top notch. I'm gonna give this a nine out of 10. This isn't uh, reference quality material, but it is the next best thing. And getting into the digital copy here, this is a Movies Anywhere digital copy, which means that you can grab the 4K version on iTunes and on Hulu. And getting into the special features, there isn't a lot, but uh, this is kind of interesting. All of them are on the Blu-ray, not the 4K Blu-ray, and they go into the typical featurette kind of stuff where they talk about their uh, new horror icon, the nun, and uh, I don't know if how iconic it is, but yeah, they think it is. And then they have to go into the... Um, the whole history of the Conjuring series, because yes, it is convoluted. Trust me. There is the gruesome planet documentary where it goes into a lot of the uh, the gore and the horror of this film. And along with that, you do get 10 minutes of deleted scenes. There is a decent amount here, I guess, but none of it's on the 4K disc. I'm going to give this another 5 out of 10. It's just okay. And getting into my last looks, look, this movie creates a good mood and a vibe that um, a guy like me can really dig on and that carries me through this movie. I might actually watch it again someday. But unfortunately, when you're making a horror movie, you have to stick to the rules that you create for yourself. And this movie just really doesn't. And it, it was just glaring to me as somebody trying to review this movie that you know, you're not sticking to what you said at the beginning half here. When you add up all my scores for the Nun on Blu-ray, you come out to a 27 out of 30. And uh, when you add up all the scores for the 4K disc, you come out to a 28 out of 40. Um, look, this isn't the greatest movie. That is, uh, you know, a lot of why the score is where it is here. But if you like this movie... Hey, this is a pretty good presentation for it, whether you're talking about the Blu-ray or the 4K disc. So if you're a fan of these Conjuring films, you might want to pick this one up because the Dolby Atmos, you know, it really, really, I, it was a big part of my enjoyment of this film. And, you know, just the video quality as well. This is a very well put together disc. And yes, I did forget to switch over my uh, my actual shelf over here, but don't worry about it because I just remembered that. So next is going to be Evil Dead 2. I'm going to get that to you guys real quick. I 
I can't wait to talk about it. There is a lot to talk about there. And if you are excited about that, subscribe so you know when that video comes out. I love talking about movies with you guys. So comment down below so we can get a discussion going on because I want to talk to you. And as always, thank you for watching my videos. You guys are awesome and you know it. And I will see all of you next time.